Hello, welcome to The Peaceful Home. I'm so glad you've joined me today. I am participating in a collaboration for a tiered tray challenge, and that is taking any kind of tiered tray and decorating it for winter. This was great motivation for me because I'm working on getting rid of Christmas and bringing in winter. I love to do this every year. In January, it's just so sad to bring down all the Christmas decor. And a few years ago, when we first moved here to Riverfront Ranch, I left up all the greenery and white lights until we had a time change and spring was here. And I just loved it. And so now that is what I do every year. This collaboration is hosted by Carol over at My Blessed Nest and she has a wonderful channel full of DIYs and trash to treasure, thrift hauls. I am going to link her channel below so you can check her out. And I will also have a link to the playlist of all of the tiered trays in this collaboration. It should be really fun to see the different things that people have come up with. So let's take a look at my tiered tray, the first area I have done for winter decorating. If you are a regular here at The Peaceful Home, you will recognize this dresser that I recently refinished. I will uh, link that video below if you want to take a look. This is normally against my sliding glass door and it's the south side of our house and it is so bright that pictures taken there never turn out right. So I just turned the dresser around so that I could show you everything without that glare. So here's my tray. I am um, really hoping to get a tiered tray that looks something a little more like this, but I didn't have one and Carol said that I could go ahead and use whatever I had and that she in the past had used a serving tray. I'm guessing similar to this one. So this is what I did. I've had this for years and years and it was so fun to just perk it up a little with some winter decorations. Here on the top tier, I have um, part of my picture collection and I just brought one of the little ones down and put some faux cedar in it. And to me, cedar, pine, pine cones, snow, they all scream winter and I just love having them in my home this time of year. I found this little gather sign at Hobby Lobby and I think it's really cute and just what I was looking for for this. I've got quite a few little pine cones that I have dipped in acrylic paint, just like the 50 cent acrylic paint you can get at Walmart. And I pour some in a little bowl and I turn the edges of the pine cone in the paint and let it dry. And I love the look that it gives. The second tier here has some of my teaspoons and my little creamer that I use often at our coffee bar. And this little faux succulent that I've used before in other places, I really like this one. It's really pretty. I love the way it hangs down. And I also grabbed some cotton. And I have had a fascination with cotton since I was a little girl. When we would go to my grandma's for Christmas in Bakersfield, my parents would pull over by a cotton field and my sister and I were allowed to go and gather a piece of cotton. And I would just sit in the car running my fingers over it, thinking that if I um, spun it thin enough, I could make my own thread. And I loved pulling the seeds out of it too. So that's just kind of a happy winter memory for me. So I put some cotton on here. And the last here is a little votive that I also got at Hobby Lobby. I was going to put a tea light in it, but I decided to put the greenery in instead and a couple little mini pine cones. I have some more of the paint dipped pine cones here, the little tiny ones. And then I laid some more faux cedar down with more pine cones. These are my Johnson Brothers winter dishes that I pull out usually right before Thanksgiving and keep them through the end of winter. And I've got a new stack of books. I put all of my red books away and grabbed some from my bookshelf to prop up this tree. Now this tree was out for Christmas, but it had a red and white striped bow around it. And I just removed the red. And I think it's a great addition to this winter scene. Decorating a tiered tray is really easy. You're basically grabbing small things from around your home and gathering them together. And I just think it's so pretty. I am really excited to see what the other collaborators did for this challenge. 
and I encourage you to try it yourself. It's a great way to bring in some winter decorations, give your home a new look, very inexpensive if you have things around your home. Just think anything miniature. And it's easy because you just basically fill the plates or the trays. You kind of can't go wrong. I know for me, decorating is a huge part of managing my home, and especially with children, where caring for them can get very repetitious, very tiring, and you wanna do it with your whole heart, but sometimes it really is a blessing to have a home that you can decorate, make cozy for the winter, have some throw blankets, curl up with a book or watching a movie with your family, is just a great way to enjoy the cold weather by staying snug and warm inside. I hope this brings you some new inspiration for your winter decorating. Thank you for joining me today on The Peaceful Home.